Hello. In this video, we'll be looking at how to create a boot application for the displays from a Codasys project. So a boot application in Codasys is a Codasys application that will automatically start as the displays start up. So this is obviously uh, a very useful thing as you go into production you are definitely going to be using this if you are developing your main application in Codasys. So, you know, as the display start up, it will automatically start up your Codasys project with as the display starts. So to do this is actually fairly simple. What we are going to do is we're going to start from our training project that we've been using in all of our videos. In the last video, we showed how we could load our project to a display and test it out. So I'm not going to go over a lot of the things that we covered in that video. So to create a boot application, right now my project already builds successfully with no errors. So obviously that's important. We're going to come here to device and hit scan network. So for this video, I'm using a, a VA display, but in the previous video where we talked about connecting to a display and deploying your Codasys application, I talked about how you can connect here and how you set up your gateway and things like that. So I'm not going to go over that stuff in, in this video. If I'm going through this and you're not sure how to get your VA or whatever display you're trying to connect to to show up here, please go see the other videos or the troubleshooting video. But I'm going to come to my devices, hit scan network, double click and hit connect. So I can see over here, this is all green. So I'm connected to my VA display and I can choose this online. I'll hit cancel here. So I can come up here to log in and either that or come online log in, similar to what we did before. So it tells me here, this is another warning message. So it says it detects that the application I'm trying to load is the same application, but that I've made changes to it in my development environment here. I've made changes to it since the last one that was lo uh, loaded and downloaded to the display. So here I can say login with download. And this is going to re-download the change project and, and run that. So I'm going to hit OK here. And we'll see it logging in. You know, if it happened quickly, but in this corner it gives you kind of a percentage as it's downloading your project to the displays and it, it tells me my messages and all that stuff. So, okay, so here we are logged in, the display or the application is downloaded to the display and you can see it's stopped. So I can hit run and you know I see it now running on my display and it works. Okay, so to create a boot application, all I need to do is come into online and instead of saying log out, there's an option here that says create boot application. So if you are logged into your display, then it will automatically create the boot application and put it on the display for you. So I'm going to say online, create boot application, and that's it. So it kind of gave you the, the windows, you know, it's, it's doing something icon and during that time it was loading the boot application to the display and it's all set so your boot application is now loaded to the display so before we end this video there's a few other things that you'll want to do so if this is the first time that you're creating a boot application with codices on our displays You'll notice that when the display uh, comes from our factory and, and boots up, it comes with the cross control setting screen. So on this screen, there's some 
settings icons uh, in the bottom right corner you can see the IP address of the display so that application is actually done in QT which is another development tool that we have available the the problem is that now we've just put a Codasys application to set and boot on the display but we haven't turned off that settings application yet so if we reboot the display now um, what will happen is the settings application will open and then on top of that settings application the codasys application will open so this normally wouldn't be a problem except that they both essentially use some underlying uh, the same windowing system it's called uh, you don't need to know too much about it but if both are running it can cause some odd issues at times mostly if you're pressing on the screen sometimes your button presses will bleed to the QT application that is open below it so in short what we want to do is actually close the QT application or prevent that from booting up or prevent it from starting when the display boots up. So I'm in PuTTY here, and if you don't know what PuTTY is or have not logged into the displays before, please go check out uh, those videos in the display section of the video training. There's uh, videos on connecting to the display, and also in the Windows tool video training, there's videos on the PuTTY tool. So in this case, I'm going to log into PuTTY to the IP address of my display, which is 192.168.0.2. Uh, I'm going to log in using root and SUS root, as we have before. And to turn off the QT application, so to make it not start up, I'm going to type cd opt slash etc slash init.d. And if we hit LS, I can see some applications here. So I, I go over Linux commands and things in, in other videos, so I'm not gonna go over what each of these does. But what we want to do is we want to make this startup GUI application, which is responsible for starting QT application, we want to disable that. So we're going to write or type change chmod minus x startup GUI and hit enter. And if we hit ls again, we'll notice it's now just this white color. So that means it's not executable. So now when we reboot our display, the Codasys application should boot, but the original startup settings application will not boot. So only the Codasys application will boot, which is what we want. But do keep in mind that once you create a startup, uh, a Codasys boot application and disable this startup GUI application, you will no longer be able to see the IP address of the display in the bottom right corner. So you'll have to find the IP address in another way if you forget it, or I would recommend your IP address static. Um, there's again a video on setting a static IP address here or there's an article on how to do it in the knowledge base. So I would recommend making it static and making it to an IP address that you'll always remember. So that's it. Uh, my display here is rebooted and the Codasys application that I loaded on is booted up with it. So that is perfect that's what we wanted and if you update your application here so say you change something all you need to do is log back into the display with the online button and just come online again and say create boot application again and it will overwrite the boot application on the display or alternately if i like change something here and i try to go online you'll notice it says it's changed since the last time it, it downloaded. And I can say login with download and update boot project. I believe that should do the same thing. So it'll again, update the 
the boot project on my display to to be whatever I changed it to do. So, um, okay, that does it. That's how to create a boot application for the displays. Thanks for watching. <laughs>